Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the year with O'Hare and today we got another unboxing for you so uh, let's just get started so this is gonna be completely new uh, to me and to you guys too um, um, so since this is neither a 1200 and it's neither a 1400 it's actually a 1300 scale uh, and it is uh, by postage stamp and postage stamp is technically uh, uh, I guess subsidiary of uh, Darren it is by Darren so uh, let's just get started so this is um, the right hand side of the box so as you can see postage stamp collection die cast metal uh, historical plane I think that's what it says. We'll see on the other side, hopefully, or when I remove that sticker, um, which is uh, very neat as well, um, sealed very neatly. Um, kind of also does make it look like a stamp, you know, besides the printed version here. And so I, I thought that was pretty cool, pretty smart. Uh, and then looking at uh, the bottom. Uh, we have WestJet, uh, uh, so it is a WestJet, and it's 737-8, uh, Maple Leaf li uh, logo, so that's their new livery, uh, and it's a 1300, and then there's just some information uh, about that, and then there's the barcode there, which I'm covering, and then you have... Uh, the image of the aircraft right there uh, uh, well the model actually you have an image of the model uh, and it does come with the stand so let's just continue on to this side so uh, same thing as the right hand side on the left hand side you have the stamp post stamp uh, collection die cast metal blah, 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 uh, historical uh, Air, airplane I think it says yeah but it's, again it's hard to see with that uh, uh, stickering there and then on the top we have post a stamp uh, collection die cast metal historical airplane so that's what it says and then you have the post a stamp uh, logo there looking at the top uh, you have uh, kind of like this opening so you can kind of feel uh, the plastic there that's holding everything together so it has a stand there um, and then sorry that's the base and there's the actual like stand part and then uh, on the outside you have postage stamp logo WestJet 737-800 Maple Leaf livery um, and then you have Darren Worldwide Trading um, logo there and then at the top you have again die cast metal historical airplane includes display stand so let's just take a look at it now now I do oh sorry I forgot the back completely again so um anyway let's see so there's Darren logo right there made in China and at the top you have uh, Boeing officially licensed product and then their website there, post a stamp, and then uh, um, just the uh, legal information about the licensing, uh, Lockhart Mern, uh, and uh, North Northrop uh, German, sorry, uh, Grumman. Uh, correct me if I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong there, and. Uh, Sienna there, and then you have Cell some, something, it's the logo says Cell can't really see what's there looks like it says helicopter and then Bell and Senna all that uh, trademark stuff and then you have all the warnings and it's, uh, this was released in 2018 
And yeah, so that's the bottom there, guys. So let's try and uh, remove. Uh, and so, so yeah, sorry, I was saying I got two of these. Uh, so I already kind of know what it looks like underneath or in the in inside of the box. The, so now that the sticker's off, there's some there is some sticky residue there, but it's not much. And I did was uh, when I took out the sticker, I just put it here, so it looks like a stamp, you know. Stamps are never pr placed uh, in an exact spot, eh? So. So there is a sticker inside as well that holds the plastic together. I'm just gonna gently take it off. And I'm just gonna put it on the box. Because I think that's really cool. So. Alrighty. So there is the model. Very secured very well in there. So there's the base. So there's the West Jet and the new uh, logo there. And uh, the, sorry, the new uh, Maple Leaf logo. And then you have Boeing 7. 37-8 and then you have trademark there and then on the side you have uh, postage uh, stamp airplanes.com the website and then at the on the other side it says scale 1 300 and then on the inside it just says made in China so yeah there's that and let's take out the actual stand here And just like that. There's our stand. And here is the model. Uh, I really like this packaging. Uh, I, I know it seems like bulky at first, but uh, hey, as long as it's secure and keeps everything safe, I'm happy. Ready. There we go. Move that back a bit. All right. So let's start on uh, the left hand side. Um, yeah. So uh, you have uh, the cockpit uh, windows and uh, wipers. There does seem to be like a little bit of a misprint. They're missing a little black right there. Uh, the black's supposed to actually like touch, um, actually supposed to touch the windows there. Just slightly. There's supposed to be slightly gap, but there's uh, actually a lot of gap there. Uh, and uh, it is really heavy, so a slight touch, it will just kind of go like that. Um, so, the wheels do not roll, um, they are uh, just stationary. And then you have the front emergency exit there, very good detailing, uh, WestJet logo, and then you have the new Maple Leaf symbol there with the WestJet colors, and uh, yeah, wings are nice too, there's no uh, landing lights. Uh, and there's no um, active aircraft lights or navigation lights, sorry. Um, engines as well, very detailed. You can sort of see down the engine there. Um, does not rotate. I know, like, uh, it's not 1 200 scale, um, but even like 1 300, sometimes uh, there's actually. Actually, there's not many uh, 
manufacturers that actually do 1-300 scale so you cannot blow on the engines I know it looks like you could but it doesn't uh, doesn't spin it's a solid die cast um, and then there's the wingtip uh, very detailed in the West Jet colors and I'm going towards the back here oh sorry I missed the over the wing exits and there's no uh, not much detailing on the wings either you can sort of just um, uh, actually you can you can only see like where the flaps are uh, but you can see the speed brakes there's no uh, indication of speed brakes or anything so little downside on the detailing of that uh, but other than that uh, everything else is uh, is good and then it says proudly Canadian well, it's hard to see there uh, and it says Boeing 737-800 and you have the rear emergency exit and then there's the registration CFL8V uh, and then uh, a little bit of a pick up here on on the uh, empennage with the the colors there and just a little chip of the colors there is gone uh and then you can see um as well uh the uh, god i think it's called the scraper i guess um it's supposed to basically like when the aircraft is rotating, if it's rotate, if it rotates too much, that actually protects uh, uh, the fuselage from uh, any damage. So yeah, other than that, very detailed on the rudder and uh, another little mishap there with the paint. That's quite all right. Um, surprisingly, the. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, sorry. The elevators are very detailed as well. And uh, there's a, the registration again. So let me try and focus that. There we go. Yeah. So CFLBV. Uh, and then it says proudly Canadian. There we go. You can sort of see it. Proudly Canadian the Canadian flag there and then Boeing 737-8 and then you have the rear cargo door uh, it should be a little bit more bigger but uh, it seems very very small uh, still at least they put in that detail uh, and then we're back at the uh, wingtip here again in West Jet colors and then if you look uh, if you look inside there, you can actually see it says westjet.com, which I like that detailing though. It's uh, very good. And uh, we're back here at the emergency exits, at the Westjet logo and the new Maple Leaf uh, um, there with the Westjet colors three. So that's their that would be their new logo there. And then uh, up at the front again, we have the emergency exit. And just uh, another thing, um, the front uh, cargo door is uh, is supposed to be bigger, so they kind of just kept it the same throughout the fuselage on uh, uh, on uh, the right hand side there. So yeah, um, again, uh, so there's the engines, uh, very detailed, and uh, yeah, so we're back at the front. Now, I didn't quite see, but there's a number there, uh, 842, so uh, again, that's probably like which... Uh, which number of aircraft has been manufactured so that's the manufacturer kind of number I think um, so yeah uh, again a little detailing here on the nose but that's about it it's uh, not a bad model and um, I think I already mentioned this but like I told you guys I'm not a fan of um, 
one four hundred um uh you know seven three sevens and all that I know I have two a three twenties in my collection, but I just love the neo livery that they got going on on the airbus um Airbus house colors, so it's very good uh so that those are the only two exceptions but uh, that's why I like okay I don't want one two hundred because I don't have room uh, in my display case so I'm like okay let me get something in the middle that's not too small nor too big and that's why I decided to go with uh, one one three hundred um, scale but I I don't think I'll be getting any more so I'll only have these two WestJet I know Postal Stamp uh, just released a Delta li uh, ver uh, livery as well and um, I think they also have a United one on the way uh, to be released soon so I won't be getting those and um, I might consider uh, again that's a very st strongly uh, used like I'm strongly using might uh, because I'm not I'm not even 75% sure that I'll get maybe like 60 to 65 or 55 percent but um, again uh, I might not or I might get the American uh, livery that they have in 1 300 uh, I don't know yet but that's it uh, that's all I could say for now but that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I do recommend um, this if you are if you are like just starting to collect it's it is a very good livery besides the minor details uh, we can take a look at the bottom as well I didn't look at the bottom um, it has the stand for the hole and very good indentation to indicate when the gears are up in flight mode and then there's the sorry there's the main landing gear and not much detailing at the bottom as well besides I, I just I like this this is a very good thing this is very neat because uh, that is actually real on the actual aircraft uh, it does have a scraper so so yeah um, very good model and that's it for this video so see you in the next one uh, not much detail at the top by the way if you're wondering uh, just it has this indentation indicating like the where the Wi-Fi is uh, yeah, so that's uh, it for this one. Smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and share, and see you in the next one.